How am I doing? Well, I'm barely hanging on. My weekly average is 89. Ah! <laughs> That's hilarious. We were all homesick for the past week. It is the 10th, the 10th of December. I'm not feeling as cotton headed. Morton is still there, but there hasn't been as much coughing and miserableness. So we've got to take what we can get. It was the best vlog in the universe, except for the ones that were better. Nothing but professional angles and attractiveness today. Um, but it is a good sign that the kids have not collapsed asleep today like they did a bunch of times yesterday. They just worked. One kid passed out on the couch. One kid crawled into her bed. And they were just out for hours. So... Maybe there is a light at the end of this incredibly long tunnel. <sighs> Maybe. I actually have the energy to pull out the camera and talk to it. That's better than I was a few days ago. Yay. I'm 41 freaking weeks. Purgant purgatory. That sounds a bit more true to feeling. Forty one weeks purgatory. And it's not convenient for baby to be born because everybody is sick with colds. Fin for tastic. So, yeah, we've all been home since Monday. Well, you know, the weekend before. And it just came to mind how strange it is that, you know, now we stay home when we are sick. Well, people in Europe do. I know so many people in America just do not get that option and you only get time off of work if your life is literally hanging by a thread. And even then, people feel guilty and, and stressed about it. Because what if I'm even more dying later and I don't have the time off that I need? It is a sad third world disguised as a first world country over there, man. I never want to go back. Just, yeah, I'm thinking about all the times that I was, I was this sick, but I still had to go to school, and I would win attendance awards, oh, yes, for, you know, going to school sick, and coughing, and hacking, and sneezing all over the place. What was I going to say? Yesterday wonderful wonderful friend Camilla helped us out because you know we didn't have it in us to go to a store to pick up some necessities so she went and picked things up for us and she, she like one of the kids opened the door but I was like I want to see a purse I want to see her you know I haven't seen many people lately and as soon as I was like opening my mouth to say, let me know how much it is so I can swish it to you. 
Swish is awesome. It's a Swedish thing, and it's like you can just instantly move money around from one account to another from your phone. It's so cool. Um, so I was like, oh, my phone is slipping. Come on. Come on. Stay. So I was like, let me know how much it is so we can send it to you. I'm so miserable. Basically, like, I don't think I said two words to her that weren't, you know, full of tears. <sighs> yeah. So a few days ago when I realized I actually have some energy to actually talk to a camera and edit, I was like, what is something that I should talk about that is actually meaning something that's actually inside of me? And I wrote this down and it was actually really good timing because... I think I wrote this down the day before yesterday where I really had a very emotional morning. I just was wailing when Morton had said that he still didn't have feel better and still had a pretty bad fever. It was like something just broke inside of me and it was like the kind of cry that you hear at a funeral of a wail that doesn't stop, it just carries on. Oh, poor, poor me. <laughs> no. There's always that little, that little, are you sure you sh you have the right to complain? Other people have it worse, me, me, me. Like, we have to let our feelings be. We have to let our feelings out and that's what I wrote down. Don't be ashamed of how the struggle is hitting you. I feel like there's a lot to chew on in that sentence. Whatever your struggle is, don't be ashamed of how it's hitting you. You just ride that wave, feel that struggle, it's not forever, even when it feels like it is. And it's okay in that moment to feel like this is forever, I'm going to die, <laughs> or I want to die. As you may be at that point in your struggle. <sighs> it's, it's not an easy time. December is just not an easy time for a lot of people. For a lot of different reasons. For grief, for changing beliefs. For the stress of being around people that they're not usually around. For expectations and trying to make a perfect time happen and it hits us in different ways and the way that we express our feelings it's legit and it's something that I've been working through for a long time even through these vlogs is feelings Anger, sadness, whatever, they're not bad feelings. They're just feelings. Just like cold weather's not bad weather, it's just cold. <sighs> oh, it's really, really beautiful today, though. I mean, it's been beautiful. It's been snowing nonstop, just feeling like I've been living in a in a snow globe, but there's a little reprieve from the snow falling, and so it's just beautiful, layered, some blue sky shining through. Oh, 
I should get some B-roll and be fancy. Maybe do some curb walking to try to get things going with this ginormous weight inside of me. Because I hear that walking like that can help. But it just takes energy. <laughs> but I'm feeling like I have a minute of energy. So, allow me to share the great outdoors with you. Walking on a curb would necessitate finding a curb and also moving, so I think I'll pass. Got a little bit of snow on me and I brushed the tree on accident. Oh, this is a nice sound though. Kira was not impressed by my five seconds outside. <laughs> I can at least add to my step goal from, from yesterday. I don't always have my phone in my pocket. That's the problem. Sometimes it's just charging and I'm just, you know, but still <laughs> 126 steps. <laughs> My weekly average is 89. Ah! <laughs> That's hilarious. Ah. Ah. Smooth. I think another really important thing to say to the don't be ashamed of how the struggle is is hitting you is <laughs> we don't have to expect that we should be able to do as much as we've always been able to do at other points. Like, just because you are able to do something then doesn't mean that you should be able to or even have to force yourself to make the energy to do it. Like, for example, producing a perfect Christmas. Like, sometimes we just got to go down to the basics. It's like, I had this, this um, encouragement for the morning thing I listened to, and I stopped listening to it because it didn't work anymore. And I realized I need to record a new morning encouragement video. That really just boils down to basics. Basics of survival. Basics of reminding myself of my core values. Yeah, maybe this is too meandering for anybody to get anything out of it, but I'm willing to risk it. Because the main thing I, the main thing I want to say is our feelings are valid. Our pain is valid. And we just need to give ourselves a freaking break. We need to be as kind to ourselves as we are to others. And where we would say to others, take it easy. You don't have to carry the weight of the world can just say it back to ourselves. I think that's the important stuff. Oh yeah, 258 steps now, ho ho.